We've got some breaking news, folks. Sports news, that is. This is fresh from the New York Post. Ryan Glassbeagle, thank you for putting this out there. ESPN fires Robert Griffin, Griffin III, RG3, and Sam Ponder in stunning NFL shakeup. Now, this is interesting because the NFL regular season starts in just a few weeks. Let's see, we're in what? Uh, uh, preseason week number two for most teams this coming week. So yeah, we've only got a couple weeks left till the regular season starts. So this is from the New York Post. ESPN made a series of stunning personnel decisions on Thursday. Robert Griffin III, otherwise known as RG3, and Sam Ponder have been let go by the network. The Athletics Andrew Barshan first reported. RG3, who had been on an analyst role on Monday NFL Countdown, was demoted this season after the network hired retired Eagles center Jason Kelsey. ESPN trying to get in a little Taylor Swift rub in there, maybe, possibly. He had also been working as color commentator on ESPN's college football coverage before the surprise move. Griffin had been at ESPN for three years, but still had two years left on his deal. So did they buy out his last two years or they just say, um, bye bye. Be interesting to find out if they bought him out. Bought out his contract, I'm saying. One potential quick landing spot for Griffin would be the NFL Network's game day morning studio show as the program still has not hired a replacement for Michael Irvin. Comment down below what you think the chances are of RG3 being brought in on the NFL Network game day morning on Sunday mornings. Be interesting to hear what you guys all have to say about that. Uh, Griffin won the Heisman Trophy, Trophy in 2011 at Baylor and was the second overall draft pick in the 2020, 2012 NFL Draft. So let's get to Samantha Ponder. Sam Ponder, she'd been at ESPN since 2011, and she had served as the host of Sunday NFL Countdown since 2017. Now, the, the, the interesting thing here between these two being terminated at ESPN is the fact that Sam Ponder has been very outspoken about transgender athletes competing in women's sports. So she hasn't really towed the line of the ESPN ideology, whereas RG3, on the other hand, um, let's just say it, he's woke. He's totally woke. So it says here, Ponder has been outspoken on social media, speaking out against transgender athletes competing in women's sports. Griffin and Ponder's exits have been characterized as budgetary decisions occurring before the fiscal year concludes at the end of September. While both of them still had time left of their contracts, these moves allow ESPN to write off the expenses right now. So here's a story from May this past uh, May 2023. ESPN Sam Ponder accused of bigotry after transgender athlete stance. Suffice it to say, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's bigotry. But that's I'm not going to get into this article here. This is what isn't what we're talking about. Let's get back to RG3, shall we? And before we do, if you if you would, folks, um, help out the channel by liking this video, subscribing if you haven't already, hit that notification bell, leave a comment before you leave. That just helps out supporting me and the channel. And, and, and if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you also for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you. So RG3 said, you know, I said he was woke. Well, this is an example of RG3. This goes all the way back to 2020. Robert Griffin, the third to NFL owners, Show Black Lives Matter means something to you. Well, they did. They painted in racism in the end zones, which, by the way, it's still there in the end zones in almost all stadiums. And um, not to mention the back of the helmets, you'll see little messages in the back of the helmets. And, it, and it's all the NFL virtue signaling is what it is, in my opinion. It's also the opinion of some others. 
But here's where we get really, really, really some woke RG3. Let's check this out. This, this is pertaining to Iman Khalif winning the Olympic gold medal in women's boxing after Iman had tested positive on a DNA test, proving that, well, Iman's a man. So let's check out this little audio clip from RG3. An unfair situations I've ever seen happen at the Olympics. 25-year-old Algerian boxer Imani Khalif is a biological woman and competing in the welterweight division at the Olympics in Paris. No. DNA tests prove that Iman Khalif is a biological man. XY chromosomes, dude. Still people say that Iman Khalif's a woman. In the round of 16, she went up against this woman, Italian boxer Angela Carini. Now, Carini decided to retire in the fight after 46 seconds because she got punched in the face two times extremely hard. So, Khalif moves on to the quarterfinals and all is well, right? I mean, how could this situation be unfair or cruel in any kind of way? Stay Besides the fact he was pummeling a woman, and the Olympics were okay with it. With me. After Khalif's victory, a firestorm of misinformation and lies took over the social media world. You mean the misinformation and lies that you're spreading there, RG3? Come on now. Some of those lies were that Khalif is a biological man and a transgender woman, and that she was taking advantage of a loophole in the system that gave her an unfair advantage against the other women. Well, as they say, a lie can get halfway across the world before the truth ever puts its pants on. You notice how the things that he said were lies were actually proven true? But I digress. So there you have it. Some shakeups at ESPN right before the football season starts. RG3 out, Sam Ponder out. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of the situation. Do you think it was because, you know, the fiscal year's coming up at the end of September and they wanted to get out of these contracts and write off, write off this revenue? Possibly. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. Share this video out there with your friends and family. With that, I will talk to you guys later.